So, uh, this video is kind of just a bunch of strategies for 2.5 uh, boss fights on level 1 for kind of just like, I guess for a reference purpose for later. I don't know really why I'm uploading all this. I guess they're just like clips and I was like, hey, this fight was kind of difficult. Let me upload this because, you know, I might use it later if I need to watch it again. I don't know. Um, a lot of the strategies in the specifically this fight, the one for Finkelstein's machine, and, uh, what are the fights around this? I think it's just those two, really, were strategies by, uh, a guy called KVM Studios. He's a really cool YouTuber, you should check out his stuff. He's a really, really cool guy, he's really nice. Uh, he's really damn good at this game. Really fucking good speedrunner, but I, I'm not like that at all. I'm just playing the game for fun. But this is a strategy he used. Uh, actually, the way it ends up, it's not really supposed to happen. Like, it's actually supposed to be a complete DM skip, or it never actually happens. But I didn't do enough damage on this run, uh, so it forced his DM anyway at the very, very end of the fight. Because I didn't use enough uh, horizontal slashes in the air during the fight. I only used mainly around, like, this one I used only, I didn't use any of that combo, but you're supposed to use three. I only used two per combo, so it really dropped my damage by a lot, and I didn't do enough to end the fight as quick as I wanted. Uh, the, this win was actually kind of a clutch for me, because phase two on Jafar is instant death no matter what, but I somehow managed to clutch it out. Um, I'm obviously going without a script, because I'm, I'm just saying random shit that comes to mind. Yeah, they're supposed to do two horizontal slashes. I did one there, and I did two there. And I just keep doing two for the rest of the fight. You do two air com you do one air combo, fly away, do another, knock uh, or you fly back, knock them out, do two air combos, do the reaction command, do two more air combos, or as many as you can get off. Like you'll do the stun move here. You're supposed to reflect, and then this knock them out by attacking this tum tums. Then you do two air combos on his head. Plus use those three horizontal slashes, which I did not do. Rip me. You do that. Spin him around again. Basically rinse, rinse repeat. This was supposed to be the end of the fight here, I believe. Yeah, I didn't use enough horizontal slashes to end the fight. This should have been it. This should have been the end of the fight. But I made a terrible, terrible mistake. And it caused this to happen. Which is what I was trying to avoid. This is pretty easy to avoid, usually. I think I get hit like once or twice in here, I'm not sure. But, uh, this isn't the hard part. It's the second phase, technically, of the fight where he's just. Oh, he likes to go ham! So I get hit there. It doesn't do a lot of damage, though. So just pop a potion. Got hit again. I, I think I paused because my controller was dying or something. I can't remember. <sighs> can't remember why I paused there. This is what I hate. He goes shubalabalabala and does this crap. I just reflected and hopefully, like, I was like, hope I win, and that happened. Somehow. One hit does that much damage. Isn't that ridiculous? But yeah, no, that was supposed to happen, so I guess it's just gonna be on to the next fight. Whatever it was. Uh, oh yeah, the machine. This one took a lot of tries to get right. Uh... I actually used a different approach than KBM's strategy, because in his video, KBM Studio, uh, one of his speedruns, it was like his three hour, almost three hour speedrun? I can't remember the time on it exactly. But, uh, he had a strategy where he started off with a duck flare, it led into, uh, a, led to a Peter Pan summon, and then out of that summon he used another duck flare. I tried that, and I died. So instead, I just used Duck Flare and then into uh, Peter Pan Summon. Uh, that seemed to really work here. I think I hit like once or twice in this fight, I can't remember. I messed up the finishers here. I'm still trying to work on the timing for air finishers and getting triangle and all that. Like, for some reason, I'm just really bad at that. So I missed a lot of the combos, but it did enough damage to cause phase two, so that's all that really matters. It's pretty easy to do that if you have Duck Flare. Get the finisher. One way, block. You don't want to aim towards the laser so the laser doesn't kill you when it ends up phase immediately. Peter Pan's a good summon for this because he stun locks the boss. 
My only problem with this is that the boss kept using this like jab move, and I kept attacking when that happened, and it kept yeah that it kept doing that over and over again. And I was trying to avoid that, but that didn't really happen the way I wanted it to. But if this wasn't since it's not a speed run, I'd still consider it like a job well done for this fight. See, it happens a lot here. Yeah. I just keep getting parried over and over again. Isn't that fun? But then it skips to final phase, where he just gets obliterated, I guess. I was waiting for him to attack or do some stupid spin, because he killed me last time, but it didn't, and I just ended the fight there. So, uh, next fight is Scar. And it's a bunch of weird audio in the front here, because my mic was on, and I didn't realize it. I say very stupid shit when I'm focusing on a game, I guess. Like, I see weird shit. My main strategy for this fight was run away from everything and only use limits, because I am a scared little bitch when it comes to this fight, and I don't like attacking him in combos, and you'll see what happens when I try, because he'll just keep cancelling my combos every time. He, I, he, I got hit like two or three times in this fight, at least in this attempt. Uh, I've died several times before this. I'm editing it, only show my wins, so it's not like, oh, I do everything first try. No, I failed a lot. A lot of fails. A lot of fails. A lot of fails. Um... This one was actually a very quick one compared to other fights that I did. Because it's like, it didn't take nearly as like, I, as less attempts, I guess. I didn't fail nearly as much on this one as I thought I would. This is my second time actually doing it on level 1, so I don't have a lot of experience. I'm very new to love, like level 1 playthroughs, and I'm probably going to do a whole lot more in the future for practice. And I don't know if I'm going to get into speedrunning, I don't think I'm good enough for that, but I would like to try my hand in fast runs of the game. like. Let's not go world record or anything, but just, you know, do some pretty decent, do some de pretty decent runs, so I can say I'm good at the game or whatever. Thought it'd be pretty fun. Um, yeah, this whole time is just run away, use limits. That's kind of it. I, I don't want to, I don't like attacking Scar head on because I just, I just hate this fight. I dread this fight. I'm thinking about actually doing a sort of a speedrun, but like a 100% critical mode speedrun where I do literally everything in the game, including gummy ship missions and all that, but not actually like record a precise time, but just like have the timer where it's like, oh, it took 100 whatever hours. That's what I kind of want to do at some point in the future. Because critical mode's not that hard, it's just level 1 that's difficult. And I was just rambling with all this stuff in the background, so I'm kind of just talking to myself. Um, that's kind of what it's all about, really, just talking to myself, because I doubt anyone's actually going to want to watch this. It's just, this is, this is for me, it's by me, it's for me. I'm only really doing this for later, because these are the fights I probably really need the strategies for, because I'm probably going to forget them. I'm probably going to go, man, what was my master strategy? <laughs> so this was the master strategy. I hate this move here this dark thing. Uh, on my first level 1 playthrough, I actually, like, aced dodging this thing. Like, I was actually really good at it. But I got really lazy here. I was like, it's like, it was probably like 1 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning when doing this fight, and I was probably just like, you know what? Let's not right now. I'm too tired for that shit. I'll just pop ethers till there's no tomorrow, because drugs are fun. And, yeah, I just, wa I just really wanted to avoid that move. Because he did it again, so I popped another ether and he used the limit again. I really, really hate that move. Yeah, the limit gauge is running super low because I wasted time. I don't think I did enough damage, so I'm gonna have to like try clutching this one. I managed to pull an actual combo out of my butt, which is pretty lucky. And here I just went for the win. I was like, screw it, there's the win. Yeah. But, uh, we're gonna ignore everything I just said there. So this next fight is probably my least favorite fight in the whole series in general. Well, 
not series, but like, I guess it's a Kingdom Hearts 2 for, for level 1 gaming, or like, uh, level 1 playthrough for, for anything. I just hate this fight. It's so bad. I just, uh, I, I abhor this fight. I abhor, abhor, whatever. I hate this fight. Level, it's made even worse on level 1, honestly. This took, I don't want to say it took that long, probably like 20 minutes to get right. I wouldn't say, oh, it took hours. No. I say things take hours, but they usually don't. Like, my Sephiroth attempts was only about 10, 15 minutes. Which wasn't really a whole lot. It, it feels a lot longer than it actually is when you die over and over again. It's like, wait, I have only tw 20 minutes of recordings of me doing fighting this boss over and over again and dying. But it felt like I was fighting for 2 hours. No, I was only fighting for about 20 minutes. This one was probably about the same. It's pretty bad. I hate that fight. It's stupid. This fight, this is kind of like... I kind of just got lucky with this. I was like, hey, this is a strategy I was using before. It's a strategy I'll keep using. The fire is the worst part of this fight. I was trying to keep my eye on the flames, but like the camera just kept going main, like going fucking crazy. I was not happy with that. And it's still going crazy here. I'm not sure why I popped Wildcat here. I guess I was getting really scared or something, but, you know, that's kind of a waste, I guess. Kind of, when I say kind of a waste, I mean like a huge waste. That's why. That was that was a waste. I'm not sure why I did that, but I did it. it Helps me avoid that flame, though. That flame would have killed me. So would that one. I got really lucky with some of those flames. I'm gonna be honest. Those ch the chasing flames are honestly the worst part. I'm surprised I was able to avoid them the way I did. Um. Did I mention I hate this fight? <laughs> like, I don't know why I hate it. I just do. Fight is just. I think the thing I hate the most is the uh top, the, the top heads that turn invisible and float around to shoot lasers and shit. Those things are abysmal, and they deserve to burn in hell or whatever. I hate them. They're terrible. It's not really bad watching it now. Like I could probably do it again if I really wanted to, but, but I kind of have to in the future if I'm doing an all-world speedrun or not speedrun. God dang it. I'm doing a playthrough. It's funny is like I was watching speedruns of the game and people were like doing like any percents and stuff. But like none of them were all worlds, so most of them avoided this one in general. It's pretty funny. And yeah, I used another limit on accident and, or not on accident, I used another limit thinking it would work. It didn't work, pushed me back down to the ground. And I was like, wow, I'm an idiot. But I used it to avoid the lightning attack, which scared me, so I guess that was good for something. And I was like really scared by those lasers, so I just kept comboing. I thought I was gonna die here, but I didn't. So I guess I got really lucky. That's how we do it in this house. That is how we do it in this house, me. Good job. <laughs> God, I hate that fight so much. I don't know why I hate it. I just do. It's really hard to find strategies for that fight. Not a lot of people like doing it. We're talking about it. Oh well. Oh, my limit. Finish him off. So I, this is the uh, the Solar Sailor section from the third visit to tra uh, Twilight. <laughs> oh my God, I'm talking about that. The third visit to Hollow Bastion. That's a Charmers Town, Twilight Town, Hollow. What's wrong with me? Okay, Hollow Bastion. Third visit. The Space Paranoid. Third visit. Whatever you want to call it. It's after you get done to go, you're able to go back. I only really included this because the clutch at the end, where I almost died multiple times, and the weight of the Solar Sailor is like almost maxed out at the very end. Like, there's so many things that went wrong here, and it somehow I somehow pulled through. Like, I don't understand how I did. I think it might be like I had some defense boosts equipped or some shit like that. Like, I don't know. I don't really have too many defense boosts, though, I don't think. Maybe I do? Maybe I have more? Maybe they actually work? Uh, uh, I don't really know if defense boosts really work much on level 1. I never really test for stuff like that. I just, like, hey, defense boost, equip it, so it won't hurt, right? Oh well. It probably doesn't make- that might make more of a difference than I think. I don't know. But this is, like, I'm- 
this is honestly something I came up with on my own. I don't know any strategies for this. So I was like, what combinations of moves can I use to do as much damage to those stupid tank things as possible? Like, what can I do to maximize my damage output? I was just gonna reflect constantly, but then this crap happened, and I was like, well, I gotta use a saving grace. I died almost twice there. And I think I almost died a third time here. Almost. No, no, I go, yeah, this is... This is where the, the second part of the clutch comes in, because the weight meter at the top is constantly filling as the food takes place, until it gets to the finale here. That's when it stops building. And it finishes like that. I thought I thought that was pretty cool, so I thought I would include it. And it's good for reference later, I guess, if I want to use it. So, here we have... Seprotef, my favorite buddy. So, I actually did this fight even before Roxas, I went to the world that never was and used that first room with all the shadows to farm wisdom forms so I can get it to quick run level 2 because I thought it would help uh, dodge the pillar of fire move that he uses. I don't, can't remember if there's like a name for it. I just call it the pillars of fire. Uh, pr pretty descriptive term I guess. Um, but yeah, that's, that instantly went from my least favorite move to my favorite after this attempt because of what happens at the end. It was probably the funniest win I ever got on Sephiroth in the last, god, the last 14 years of me playing this game. I fought in Sephiroth, I fought Sephiroth hundreds of times, and it's still my favorite win I've ever gotten against him. Um, I think I get hit a few times in this run. I'm not sure how many times, but I get hit, I get hit, get hit quite a few by like this upper slashes and. And maybe a pillar of fire or two, or something like that. I get hit. I'm not ashamed to say I get hit by stuff on level one. I'm not a no hit. I'm not a no hit god. I'm not. I'm not good. I'm not good at this game. I suck at this game. I'm not trying to prove that I'm good. This is not for showing off. If you want to say it is, go ahead. I don't care. See that pillar move. It's my least. It was my least favorite. Now it's my favorite. So you get tapped there. That was my first mistake. Um. There's plenty of other places for me to make mistakes. I almost get killed there. I don't have glide, or I don't have, yeah, I don't have glide at all, so I can't fly. Which is usually how you would catch him with uh, Heartless Angel. Because I, I can't, I don't have access to Final Form yet, so, fun. Um, yeah, this is, I did this right after the MCP fight, which I didn't save in the recording. I guess because I was like, the video I'm going to be doing is only for saving for reference for later, I don't really need this win, and I kind of didn't, it was an easy fight. Um, it's not really a whole lot to say here, it's kind of just like, trial and error, learning what works, what doesn't, whenever he jumps, he's like wide open. Um, I usually like to roll before I reflect. I got screwed over here. Yeah, that would have killed me if I wasn't careful. I knew to... That's what. That's why I got the quick run. To avoid crap like that. If I didn't have quick run, I'd be screwed. It came in handy there, I will admit that. <clears throat> um, I'm kind of just rambling now. Because I'm kind of just watching this. Watching this play out. Yeah, there's no real strategies I picked up for this fight. Like, I didn't really... I watched... KB, I think I watched maybe like a run or two by KBM and like a few other people like uh maybe like Bloody Biscuits runs and stuff like that or Biscuit 047 and like um what's his name? I can't remember I can't remember it. He does like all the he does some like challenges and stuff with this with these fights. But like I never really paid attention to the strategy at all. I kinda just did this stuff on my own. It was like I I'm just gonna do what I think feels right. I got lucky with those two moves, because he killed me with those before, and I was like, I look up for those, so, you know, practice those. Almost got killed by that. I just got this, this challenge, this is not this challenge, this attempt, I just got really lucky. That's funny, it was right before he did this, like, he does that, he did that dash move, and I was like, Man, it'd be really nice if you just hit me with Meteor right now. Like, that'd be so great. And he does it, and I was like, wow, I was, I was just kidding, but, uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. But my mic is muted for this one, I believe, so, yeah. So this is, like, my favorite win ever. I used Trinity, because I was like, you know what, I can probably finish him with a combo or something afterward, but I forgot that, uh, he's not gonna like that. 
This is why I love to pillar fire now, because I did stupid shit like this. Look at that finish. I don't know why I'm so proud of that, but I am. Uh, it, it's just... Probably because I thought of it on like a spur of the moment thing. It was like, hey, I'll, I'll keep bleed throw. I, I thought that felt pretty good. Like felt pretty good. I admit you're very skilled. Very skilled. For man bear <laughs> Alright. I was just gonna go I was just going through my stuff that I had equipped. The shadow stuff I think helped with the, the orbs a lot. If I didn't have those, it'd probably be I'd probably taking a lot more damage. That would have sucked. Yeah, it's just going through the abilities and whatnot. Whatever. Uh, so, here's the fight with Roxas, you know, I, I don't know why, I, I really don't know why, I, mm, I don't know, I guess I'm, this video is just about me saving stuff for later, and I guess I kind of need a good Roxas strategy, and this really worked for me, so, I'm gonna roll with it. Found pretty good loops and stuff like that, and I was like, hey, I'll use this. I don't know, it's just a very mellow fight, I guess. Not a, music doesn't get too intense. Not a lot in the background, it's just very emotional, or like, what you find it's supposed to be like an emotional fight kind of thing, I don't know. Music's really nice. I hate those lasers, those are the worst. Um, I think the setup for this fight is about the same exact thing as- yeah, I did this right after Sephiroth, so the setup is exactly the same. Not a whole lot's changed here. I think I have like more potions or something. I don't know, I can't remember if I actually equipped anything else or not. Might have forgotten to put on extra items. Don't remember if I actually used them or not in this fight. Can't remember if I got hit or not. I know I did, but don't remember how many times I did. I I got I I got scared there because yeah, like so much damage. Just four potions and two ethers, that's all I got with me. But yeah, like, I get scared of those lasers, because they, they are brutal. One day I get close enough to hit him with that, I accidentally pulled an air combo, and I was like, I'll just do one finisher and back off, which is scared. Yeah, when he starts dashing around, then spawning lasers while doing that, that's what scares me the most. Because he'll dash and then do the combo, and you'll get hit by the lasers as the other attacks connect, and it's not supposed to really hit you, but it kind of does. And I was like, I'll pull limit form and do a little nuke at the end, and just finish him off, because, you know, that's what the cool kids do, am I right? Uh -huh. Yeah. But I only got I only got hit, like, once in that fight. The fight is usually really hard for me. But, uh, I guess I got lucky. You know, as I usually do with most stuff like this. It's the only reason I really beat it on level 1, I just got lucky. But yeah, it's going through all my stuff again, which... Same exact thing as before. Uh, it's, not, it doesn't, uh, it's not really that important. Um... This is... It's kind of just for me, for reference for later, when I need strategies for these fights, and I play through the game again, because I know I'm gonna need, need them, because I'm gonna forget how I did all this. The rest of the fights are not a problem. I already know how to do the, all of those. I just needed reference for these. Uh, and also because... I, I, I don't know. I have all these around. Might as well upload it. Anyway, uh, bye!